a lot of people say they love my organization. The fact is, you only see what I let you see. You don't see all of this, or all this, or look at all this crap. But I think I can fix a lot of it with this corner right here. So, let's see what we can do. 2,000 years later. All right, now that we got everything moved off this wall, like I said, I only show you what I want you to see. Look at this crap. All right, got all the holes patched on the wall with some putty. We'll let that dry, set up, and I'll sand it down and put a fresh coat of paint. If you're by yourself, you can cut to the length, the height you want between each shelf and use these as spacers to be able to hold up one side while you screw in the other side. Be sure to line them up with the first lines that you did with the studs, so you won't have to worry about guessing where they're at. Now that I've got it lined up with the stud on the wall, inside the wall here, I can do the same screws right here. On top of that, it should also still be level. are in. Still level. If for some reason it wasn't level, you could just do one screw on that side and then take your level and move this side up or down to get it level where you need it. Once you got all the wall mounts done, then we're going to go ahead and take the other two by fours that's going to be the outside of the shelf and screw it to this so we can get the legs of it mounted also. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. Next, we have to determine the number of legs you want for your wall. Mine's an eight foot section, so I'm gonna do three legs. One on each end and four foot in the middle. The next thing is the height. How high can you go with the legs? In my case, it's gonna be the height of the garage door, which is 86 and three quarter inches. So we're gonna cut our legs at 86 and three quarter. Before you secure your leg to the wall mount, you wanna make sure you're 100% flush this is what's gonna be sitting on the concrete and it needs to be flush so your wall will be level. Once you have the bottom level and lined up, line it up on the sides, start screwing it into the boards.
And just like that, over the course of a weekend or within a couple of hours, really, you can modify this dead space that's behind your garage door into a viable space for storage very easy. I got this from Anna White's page. I'll put a link down below where her husband built this same procedure in his garage and great for storage, great for taking up wasted space. So Anna, Anna's husband, thank you. And I hope you enjoyed today's build. Always remember, be kind to one another.